in five, four, three, two, one. Hi guys, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com and today I'll be showing you how to update your computer to Windows 8.1 preview. So today, the 26th of June, Microsoft announced and released the latest update to Windows 8 on PC. And this will work for Windows 8 Pro machines, not Windows RT. So basically, this will not work for any RT device. Uh, I will have the link uh, for the download below in the description so you guys can definitely check it out there and also at the website at borderwork.com so very simple first thing you need to do is back up your system just in case you might lose some files this is something that you should do as a precaution so back it up either on a on a portable hard drive SSD or whichever ways you guys use to back up your system uh, and then you go ahead and you download the um, the file here and you will get this prompt and once you click on it that says Windows updates the standalone standalone installer the update for Windows is KB 28 um nine six three six four nine six three six sorry hit yes there and it's going to initialize updates being installed now i'm installing this on my lenovo yoga 11 s uh which is a windows 8 machine um and well, i'll let you know how long this update runs in full time so we're going to speed through a lot of this stuff here uh within the update so you see it fast forward actually just uh speed through in this video but we'll we'll show you what's in the update how long it'll take uh, and also uh we'll show you some of the new features that windows april one has installed so uh, well just stay tuned continue with the update there so so 30 percent we'll go on and we'll see how long this takes but it's roughly around five minutes for the update itself um to download install partially install anyway so i'll say it's you know probably a 10 minute update in total so it's not too long compared to old windows updates where it would take close to 30 minutes or 45 minutes depending on the system you have And that loud jet sound is not the Yoga 11S. Nope, that is an old HP. Yeah. So it says get Windows 8.1 for free, go to the store. Oh, it's easiest always not to connect. So let's do that. Let's go ahead. Because there is no start button. So we do have to go to the Microsoft Store to get it more in preview. Download that again. It's an interesting process. Um, I guess if I had signed in earlier, this would have taken me here initially. So remember, make sure you do sign into your Microsoft account. Uh, this should speed up the process for you installing Windows 8.1 preview. So that whole process was about an hour plus. We accept terms, update. Next, you set up your account. So you still have to do this whole account setup again. To verify the account, skip this for now. 
your SkyDrive. So there's more integrated SkyDrive um, into Windows 8.1, as you can see, and we'll finalize that. So, okay, so we can jump in and show you some of the new things on Windows 8.1, especially with the new start button and uh, a couple of those few things. But I will tell you this is an hour plus update, uh, say an hour to about 20 minutes depending on uh, what your system is, but this is an i5 with, uh, eight, with 8 gigs of RAM, so this is going through the whole usual setup process. Still going to take a few more minutes. So letting everyone know that it's going to be long. Hopefully when the final update hits for uh, Windows 8.1, it won't be as long as the preview build here, which seems to be chewing along quite slowly. But then again, it's a preview build, so that's expected uh, from that. All right, so it's been updated, and let's see. We have our stop button. Uh, so a couple of things to note here is that I can start on the start screen. You have this arrow icon here on the bottom, which takes you to all your applications pretty quickly. If I go to my desktop, actually not unpin that, so apologize. Get our customization, go to desktop here. So you can see here in desktop, we have the start button. Uh, don't remind me, take that out. So you see you have the start button here on the right hand corner. And if I right click the start button, I do have a couple of options. I have program features, mobile center, power options, view, system, device manager. So a lot of those intricate options that were kind of missing, they're hard to get to, you can find here. You also have your task manager, control panel, file, search, run, uh, shutdown, and desktop. So you have that here. And you can switch and toggle in between. Um, there's also a word of a few new applications from Microsoft. Let's see if they are listed here. We have them here. Um, we don't. We know they are updates to search. So search is now a universal search, which we can do. Let's see if that will search anything for us or so as you expect from a preview build it looks like it's is having some issues uh, universal search so yeah that will bring it us to Bing so from your desktop mode universal search does take you straight to uh, whichever application or search item you're looking for. So that's something nice to note here with Windows 8. We also look to see the uh, mail app. Looks like it's gotten a little, little bit of an update there. We'll get into that also. Your multitask features, you can actually open up uh, three applications in one, I believe. So Superman search results. So we have that and we have another. I'm not exactly sure how we can set up three, but we can set this this way and then we can. I'm not exactly sure how we can pin three applications together, but we, you can pin three applications, but you can at least customize this to any length you want to. Um, while setting that up. So 
that's something to take note. So we're going to look at all these features. Um, we also have a new keyboard layout, um, which we'll test out, we'll use, we'll show you how it works and functions uh, with Windows 8.1. Uh, but so far it's been interesting. Uh, the addition of the start uh, button seems uh, very nice. You can also shut down from here, which is great, or at least the start icon, not the button, if you will. And this is available on the desktop. You can also launch directly to your desktop from this. So if you guys have any questions on how to install Windows 8.1, uh, let us know. We try and answer that for you. It's, uh, it's a simple process. It's just very lengthy. We've taken an hour plus or so. So uh, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you very much. And um, always enjoy entertainment.